tease off lads, it's Tom LFC Heaven here with a brand new Swansea career mode video and in this video you will see three Premier League games uh, all on uh, legendary difficulty and uh, um, we are in uh, third or fourth place if I'm uh, not mistaken in the league table which is pretty amazing and I feel the my uh, almost my best 11 I make a change in uh, left midfield uh, because Scott Sinclair the great hung, uh, young uh, striker uh, was um, tired so I mm, uh, changed him and uh, and here in the 23rd minute we are off to the worst possible start because uh, the keeper makes a world class save but Carton Cole uh, manages to head in the rebound and here uh, West Ham are uh, on the attack again and my uh, defense is cut to pieces and uh, it's 2-0 down already we are uh, we were on an unbelievable run i think uh, we were unbeaten in uh, something like uh, 11 or 12 league games so uh, um, we uh, that r oh, uh, every good run like that always comes to an end someday so maybe it will be this game but here we managed to get a go back through uh, Bodde, my central attacking midfielder. And uh, in this episode I wanted to talk about uh, the exciting uh, season that Swansea City are looking forward to. They already uh, uh, smashed their uh, record uh, transfer uh, price uh, because they bought Jen Danny Graham, uh, Graham from Watford for three and a half million pounds in real life. Uh, he was the top scorer in the championship uh, with uh, something like uh, 23 or 25 goals. I'm not sure. So it's uh, it's uh, hopefully it's a great buy, and uh, we will need uh, a lot of goals uh, in the Premier League to stay up. Uh, so uh, I'm looking forward to him uh, banging in the goals. And um, here we are already 3-1 uh, down, and uh, my virtual pro goes uh, on a great run on the wing and he fake shots the defender he cuts inside and they don't can't catch him and uh, the defender handles the ball so it's a penalty so uh, Swansea have already smashed their record uh, made their, their record transfer and um, the preseason is shaping up nicely but we are already one month behind schedule uh, compared to the other promoted teams because they have secured promotion in the end of April but uh, Swansea only secured promotion at the end of May in the playoff final so we o we still have uh, transfers to do and look at this the keeper passes to passes the ball to Hernandez and he hits the post in the 92nd minute we could have equalized but oh well it was rather unlucky so it's uh, first loss in the 11 or 12 league games um, uh, and uh, both our losses came at home, uh, strangely. Uh, West Ham deserved this win, uh, to be honest, because they had uh, better chances and they were better overall. But here uh, we have a double header against Stoke City. Strangely, uh, both our league games are played uh, against each other uh, uh, in the consecutive fixtures. So at first we will play Stoke away, then uh, three days later we will play Stoke at home, which will be pretty interesting to say the least, uh, because Stoke are a very very strong, very physical uh, team. They have uh, um, very strong, tall uh, players uh, all over the park, uh, not just in defense but in attack as well. So it will be a really hard test. But here in the fa fifth minute we go on a uh, counter attack and my virtual pro skills the defender and he slots it home and we are already 1-0 up in the 6th minute and it, this was a crucial game if we wanted to stay in the hunt for the top f for a top 4 place then uh, this game was crucial because the other big teams were winning uh, the top 5 uh, teams are uh, uh, of course Manchester United, Chelsea, Liverpool, Manchester City and uh, interestingly Swansea and the other uh, the other teams like Arsenal and Aston Villa and Tottenham are uh, uh, something like four or five points behind us and here I only get the yellow card which was uh, rather unlucky because I thought at the time that uh, that's the, the referee will give a red card so uh, continuing my Swansea talk um, 
Oh, look at this. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> the keeper uh, saves, but uh, Stoke got really lucky there. So continuing my Swansea talk, the preseason will be very nice to see uh, who they, who else they sign. And I will try to sign them in real life. Uh, I will try to sign them on FIFA that they sign in real life. And Benoit Pedretti with a wonderful goal. And they he tells the Stoke fans to shut up because uh, this is 2-0 and he just banged it in. A screamer of a shot. The keeper had no chance. So uh, the preseason, one of the preseason games will be against Real Betis, one of my uh, other favorite teams that I uh, follow. So it will be pretty interesting to see who uh, they sign and how it uh, shapes up. And here Knight uh, just destroys Kenwin Jones and he gets the red card deservedly. And look at this, Dilap with the long throw. This is great on FIFA 11 that uh, this happens in real life and this game is uh, more realistic than any other football game ever. Because look at this, Dilap with the long throw and uh, Stoke with uh, their usual uh, goal. Uh, get to go back, but well, well, we still managed to get win the uh, game 2-1. So it's uh, a great uh, comeback from uh, the previous loss, and we are on to the next game uh, against Stoke City at home. And uh, we feel the almost the same team. Uh, if I don't have to, I, I usually don't like to change the team because I have my my best eleven figured out, and I. Uh, I always make uh, free substitutions at around 60 minutes to bring off the the players with most fa fatigue, uh, the players who are the most tired. And this is the great tactic to uh, to avoid uh, getting half the squad uh, really tired uh, in the season. Because uh, some of you already asked me how uh, do I uh, keep uh, the players fit, and this is a great tactic to use. So make uh, three substitutions around the 60 minute mark and bring uh, da bring uh, bring off the three players that are the most tired uh, and bring on uh, totally fresh 100% uh, fresh players and um, then uh, half of your team will uh, stay fresh and uh, uh, that's really important in career mode because if uh, the players are tired then it really it really shows. Um, so we are 1-0 up uh, and my wheelchair pro scores uh, his uh, regular goal. He scores uh, in every game, almost every game. He has uh, 30 league goals in uh, the Premier League uh, for Swansea in 20 games. And he and as I play with Real Betis as well, he has uh, 30 goals in 22 uh, Spanish league games. And here I uh, passed the cross goal because I really wanted to win this game. Uh, I know it uh, doesn't look... Uh, the best, but uh, this is a three and a half star team against uh, uh, much, much better teams in the Premier League. So please excuse me, guys, if I uh, sometimes score uh, um, not so uh, amazing goals. Uh, but uh, in career mode uh, on Legendary, it's really, really hard to score a, a beast skill move uh, goals because uh, the AI just gets, your, gets the ball off you. At the ver at the first uh, moment, uh, you are trying to do a skill move, and uh, that's how the game finished. It finished three 0 and we are second place. We are in second place in the table, two points behind behind Manchester United, which is absolutely unreal and amazing. And as you can see, uh, the my virtual pro has 30 goals, and uh, if we can keep up this winning form, then. Uh, we will be in the title race, which is unreal. And here, uh, as I had no money, I signed uh, like uh, 15 or 20 free agents uh, who, all, who all had a wage demand of 1,750 uh, uh, pounds. And I will sell them on for uh, like uh, half a million profit for each player in the summer and th this is a great way to get uh, money for a small team in career mode thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed this episode and see you later bye